Hello there, in this video I'm going to talk about the new Sharent reports we have for Serpon Online model sites. So here I am in Serpon Online model site. Sorry for some of the uh, information you can see here that it's in Spanish, but it doesn't matter because uh, the Sharent reports for Serpon Online I'm going to show you uh, when I show how to access them, everything is going to be in English, so you are going to be fine. So in order to see these Sharent reports for Serpon Online, what I have to do is just to click on settings, and then I can directly go to site usage page because there is where I have the possibility to generate the sharing reports. So here I am in the new share in the new site usage page where I can see information about what's happening around my site in terms of unique viewers, site visits, site traffic, popular platforms, and so on. And the most important thing here is that I have the possibility to run a report to get information about how information has been shared with external users from this site. It's strange that uh, I don't have in, any information here because yesterday I have, and as you can see here, I generated two different reports. By the way, let's imagine I have data here, so it, it makes sense to generate the report. So the only thing I have to do is to click on run report, and then what you are going to see is just a dialog where you have the possibility to create a new folder where you want to store uh, your certain report or just choose one of the existing folders. These folders are, create, are created in the default document library you, we have in the modern site. So you don't have the possibility to choose any other document library you have in your site. So let's choose actually this folder. It's also quite fun because I think this is a bug because it's, say, it's saying that the folder is empty, which is not true. Indeed, you have here two files. And I'm going to click on save. Yeah. This saving operation is supposedly to start the process to generate the sharing report, the sharing uh, with external user reports report and the only way you have to know when the report is generated is because you are going to receive in your inbox a notification coming from Serpon Online telling you that your report is ready so you can expect. What we are going to do now is just to go to the same contents page and just check if the report is already there because if it's there I can show you in a minute the uh, notification you receive, you receive in your in your mailbox, in your inbox, sorry. So I had to go to documents and then uh, I had to click on share reports. Here we go. And then, yeah, here we have the new report just generated, uh, generated a, mom, a minute ago. So what I can do is just to open this report. I'm going to use the desktop app, it's the desktop app, because this is actually a CSV file. Perfect. And here you have uh, all the information that is generated by this uh, uh, sharing report for Serpon Online feature. So basically, you are going to have a record for every file you have shared externally from your Serpon Online site. And for every record, you can have all this information. And this is actually quite well documented in docs.microsoft.com. But basically, you have the resource path of the item you have shared. That can be a site, can be a folder, can be a document, the item type, a site, a folder, a document, the permission, what means the permission level applied to this uh, item that has to be shared, which name you have, uh, sorry, the item has uh, shared with, the email of the user, uh, the user group type, in case of the user can be internal, that means member, or external, uh, that means a guest, and then you can have also group. Can be a security group, can be a SharePoint group, or can be an Office 365 group. This is the link ID, so this means the uh, link used to share the, the file folder or site with the external user. The link type uh, can be anonymous, can be uh, people in your organization, can be people with existing access, or can be specific people. And, there's, and then you have also how uh, uh, the resource has been accessed by a link by external users. So the last thing I have to show you is the notification you should see in your, in, in your inbox. So let's click on the app launcher and then open Outlook. Here we go. I'm going to open in a new tab and I should have a notification 
in my inbox. Okay. Yeah, apparently the notification uh, has not been received. I don't know why, because uh, it should uh, work like this. By the way, what I can do is just to go to the delete uh, elements, so the so the to the so the to the recycle beam, because here I can show you how the notification sent by SharePoint Online looks like. So this is the notification actually sent. Uh, by SharePoint Online when you generate a sharing report from your SharePoint Online site. So basically, it's a very common notification that is telling you that your report is ready and is available in this folder. So you can click on the open button and then you are going to be redirected to the folder where the reports are being generated so you can inspect them as we have uh, already done. And that's all. I hope you have found this video interesting and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.